wilt thou have this man to be thy husband? And wilt thou pledge thy troth to him in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him according to the ordinance of God in the holy bond of marriage? I will. Wilt thou, Jefferson, have this woman to be thy wedded wife? Wilt thou comfort and keep her in sickness and in health? Wilt thou provide her with credit cards and a four-bedroom, two-and-one-half bath home with central air and professional decorating? A Mercedes-Benz, two weeks in the Bahamas every spring? Wilt thou try to remember the little things that mean so much, like flowers on her anniversary, a kind word when she's had a rough day, and an occasional, gee, honey, you look pretty today. Wilt thou be understanding when she is tired, headachy, or upset about something? When she feels ugly, or when she has a big pimple on her chin? Wilt thou not be such a pig when you shave and shower? Wilt thou listen patiently to long stories about kids' colds, kitchen towel, clothes, shoes, make a pair of sore feet, and decorate her checkbook covers? I will. For as much as Kristen and Jefferson have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company by the joining of hands and the giving and exchanging of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, whom therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. You may now kiss the bride. But don't mess up her hair or her face, because she still has to have her picture taken. Go for it. 